This is John chapter 14 and verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Baraka for Yehovah. Baraka for Yehovah Shai. Baraka for Yehovah. Baraka for Yehovah Shai. Baraka for Yehovah. Baraka for Yehovah Shai. I would like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that rule well for preaching the 100% truth in season out of season, according to the Most High's will, the correct doctrine giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice for the Most High's sake, which is their reasonable service. The honors goes out to you. I would like to say Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, including you Israelite foreigners who may not look like a typical Black, Hispanic, or Native American, but through the seed of your forefathers, all right, your lineage goes back to an Israelite man. And your spirit bears witness that you are an Israelite because you can accept this 100% word. You're drawn to the gospel, right? The 100% doctrine comes from the Great Millstone, comes from the camp of Great Millstone, all right? And there's no doubt about it that you're drawn to this word, okay? Which is the light, the truth, the living waters, all right? Which cleans you, okay? So Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, starting off with the 144,000 prophets the house of david all right as well as the one third all right the great multitude all right who will receive salvation all around the globe okay i like to give more praises to yahweh bashim yahushai bahashim rakakadash for allowing me to do another video to the holy spirit in this video all right the topic is going to be okay that miracles are coming soon miracles are coming soon all right so through the spirit all right the spirit had me do this video okay because of this whole pandemic of the coronavirus all right you have schools all right being shut down okay disney world the nba a lot of different sports uh, um are shutting down their leagues okay you got um, colleges closing down, telling kids to take online classes. All right, you got uh, um, you got um, uh, you got everybody talking about this coronavirus. All right, this big news. Okay, you got average day people knowing about this. All right, you got Asian Americans being discriminated against. All right, because everyone thinks that they have this virus. All right, that they carry it with them by default. Okay, so with all this time of pandemic, all right, of diseases, which are prophesied in the Bible, okay, the Mossad, okay, is going to bring plagues on America, okay, the spirit, okay, of miracles, all right, healing the sick, all right, raising from the dead, okay, casting off demons from people, all right, the Mossad, you held by Shemiel all right, okay, is going to give power to his servants to do miracles, right? Why? Okay. Why are they going to do miracles? Okay. It says in John 14 and verse 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Okay. So the Lord, Yahawashai, who the world calls Jesus, he did miracles. All right. He walked on water. All right. He healed the sick. Okay. It says, In greater works than these shall ye do, because I go unto my Father. Okay, so greater works are we going to do, all right, than the Lord. Okay, him healing the sick, walking on water, all right. It says greater works. Okay, and this is the Lord speaking, who the world calls Jesus Christ, real name Yahweh Shai. All right, so why are we going to be doing these miracles? Okay, to glorify the Most High Yahweh, who the world calls God. Okay, because the Most High Yahweh is going to be glorified. All right, he's going to be feared and he's going to be glorified. All right, soon, okay? 
and he's going to give the spirit to his servants to do these miracles. All right. And since this coronavirus um, pandemic is um, abroad. All right. It can be really soon. OK. So my second precept is Psalm chapter 110, verse three. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauties of the holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou has the dew of thy youth. OK. So it says, thy people shall be willing the day of thy power. Okay. A lot of these blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, they need to see something to believe it. All right. That's how the most is gonna wake a lot of them up. Okay. Through miracles, through seeing something to believe it. Okay. So they can know, oh, we're the Israelites. This is true. Okay. So I can wake up and repent. All right. They need to see something to believe it. Okay. It says, Thy people shall be willing the day of thy power. Because you have to understand the great is like waking is gonna happen, right? It's not gonna this is gonna it's not gonna be a trend, all right, that's gonna fall off, all right? And this is not a trend. This is a awakening of an actual heritage to a people, people remembering themselves, all right? The ain't their ancient ways, all right, and this is gonna stay, all right. You other heathen nations, all right. This is not a, is like trend of us doing this, saying you're going to slavery, saying the Lord's going to come back for no reason, because all these prophecies are going to come to pass. All right. All these prophecies are going to come to pass because the most size word doesn't go without void. All right. It's going to come to pass. It's going to become a reality. All right. And the other heathen nations are going to deal with the Israelites. Yasharala. You're not gonna be dealing with simple black Hispanics and Native Americans anymore. You could dealing with you could be dealing with the Israelites who have the power of God behind them. All right, Yahweh, Bashmi Al Shai, the living power, the ancient of days, the king of terrors, right? The almighty demon like power. All right. That's what's coming forward to you other nations, all right, outside the nation of Israel. This is Acts chapter one, verse eight. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. All right. This power is, is going to be given to his Israelite men. All right. To glorify the Most High, Yahweh Shah, To further wake up the elect. All right. The remnant that's going to be saved. Okay. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses. All right. So proof, evidence unto me both in Jerusalem and all in Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And right now there's camps all around the earth. All right. The uttermost parts of the earth. Okay. So right now, okay. The, the truth is spread, spreading. Okay. More is less going to wake up. Okay. Which is, that's when these elites are to come down with wrath. All right. Because they know, all right, they're finished. That there's like nations waking up. All right, they're not being simple anymore. They're repenting to their power. Okay, they're gonna try and rehearse the righteous acts. Okay, these elites are gonna come down with wrath because they know they have a short time. All right, they know that their time is up. All right, and that the change of the kingdoms is coming. All right, from one people to another, from the nation of Edom to the nation of Yasharala, Israel. All right. So we're going to be in some glorious times real soon. All right. So you have to believe that, okay, the Mosa, all right, is going to shrink to you for these times and increase you so you can be better suited for these times that are about to come. All right. Because the times that are about to come are never before seen. All right. This is John chapter 6 and verse 2. And a great multitude followed him because... They saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. All right. So a great multitude. Okay. Follow the Lord. All right. Because they saw his miracles, which they did. All right. That he did. Okay. That great multitude are going to come back today. All right. Doing the same, being the same spirit they were. All right. Following the, following the most high servants. Okay. Following the prophets. Okay, the 144,000, okay? That multitude's coming, all right? Let me read this again. A great multitude followed him because they saw, see, they saw his miracles, which he did on them, which were diseased, okay? 
So I'll praise the Most High, all right? He's the one-third, the remnant, the sincere, all right, Israelites, okay? Are going to wake up soon, all right? And they're going to be uh, they're gonna be lost. I mean, they're going to be awakened from this lost mind frame, okay, of being simple, all right? Believing in what the oppressor tells you, all right? Doing abominable acts, okay? That's going to end. Revelation 7 and verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of Yahweh in their foreheads. Okay. So the Most High has angels, all right, waiting, okay, to just, to just release havoc. Okay. But the Most High has to seal his elect. All right. He has to seal the 144,000, the one third. Okay. So as you read down, it's going to list 12,000 from every Israelite tribe. Okay. But after those 12,000 from every Israelite tribe, in verse 9, it says, After this I behold, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people. And tongues stood before the throne, and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right? So if you go into this word nations, all right, in the Blue Letter Bible. It's locked here. All right, it's messing up on me. Okay. But if you go into this word nations, all right, it's going to go into tribes, all right? Um, the Greek word is ethnos, okay? It's going to go into tribes, a different multitude of people, okay? To be of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? And not all, all right, of this great multitude are going to look like typical blacks and Spanish Native Americans. They're going to look like different heathen nations, all right? But there is life through the spirit, okay? And that's the spirit. The Most High judges by the spirit, all right? 1 John 4 and 1, all right? Try the spirit to see if they're of the Most High, okay? It's in Matthew 24 and verse 14. And this gospel shall be of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall then come. You see? A witness unto all nations. Why? Because Israel scattered among all nations. So if Israel is scattered among all nations, all right, Israelites don't look like typical Israelites, okay? They've been um, breeding with these other heathen nations, all right? So now they have these different features of these heathen nations, all right, down their line, okay? So Israel scattered, okay? It says, and then shall then come, all right? So once the elect is sealed, the most size will release havoc on this place, all right? So that multitude has to wake up, all right? And of course, it says, but thy people shall be willing the day of thy power. Okay, so power, all right, miracles, spiritual power, divine intervention is coming. All right, so all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, because we're living in glorious times if you're a spiritual person, all right, a spiritual Israelite. Okay, if you're wicked, of course, you're not going to like these times. All right, you're not going to like these times because these times are your downfall. The wicked of two thirds of the nation of Israel, the wicked heathens, all right? They're not going to like the times are about to come. So, knowing that, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is a high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So, it's near, it's approaching, all right? The Mosai is speeding up the times for the elect's sake, all right? The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the arm of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, nor in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Okay? That, but put ye on the Lord, ye house and Mashiach, all right, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Okay? So let us put on the arm of light, becoming new, repenting, Growing, constantly growing, because the time's going to increase, right? The most I needs you to grow, okay? If you're not growing to the rate the most I wants you to grow, the most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, right, can take the Holy Spirit, the divine spirit, away from you. So keep praying that the most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, keeps dealing with you, all right, and increases you for these times, all right? So all praise the most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, Hashem, Kakadash, other parent claiming to America, 
And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Yasharallah. Shalom.